Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to install Odoo. Odoo is open source ERP system. As you can see, we have multiple modules. This is an awesome free tool that is uh, absolutely necessary for uh, any business. It doesn't matter if you are a newbie or a budding entrepreneur or you have a large enterprise. You definitely need to plan your resources and uh, this is the most advanced to open source uh, ERP system out there and uh, most of the features are free. You could pay and get some uh, additional benefits but uh, in my opinion most small businesses don't require any uh, paid modules from Odoo. So let's get started and uh, let me show you how to install Odoo from scratch. So for that, uh, we need to uh, install Docker. So Docker is uh, actually a container system. It is used for uh, developing as well as deploying uh, softwares across industry. Like uh, it is the default uh, go-to method for uh, deploying systems in large scale. So without further ado, let me jump into my docker compose file and show you how we are going to uh, install this system. So I already have docker installed in my system. So you, you may need to install docker by following their uh, docker uh, manual. Like you can just go to, go to their uh, website and follow their uh, on-screen commands just copy paste and uh, it will be installed so once you get it installed docker uh, you can just start uh, using this docker compose file to get your uh, odoo system up and running i will provide the link to this docker compose file in the link uh, in the description so you can uh, just copy this and uh, paste it in your uh, system so Basically, we are just saying this Docker, com Docker uh, Compose uh, software to pull this image, Odoo Latest. So, from where this is coming? So, let me show you hub.docker.com. This is the, uh, this is like the marketplace for uh, almost all software you may uh, know. So, you can uh, install almost all of the open source uh, software by pulling the images from this uh, source so by default docker will be configured to get your uh, images from this uh, with this source so you don't need to know these things but uh, it is nice to know like uh, where that uh, what each commands mean so if you don't uh, want to like uh, understand or know how docker works that's fine but uh, let me i am just giving a brief introduction about uh, how the things uh, everything is coming together so we are uh, getting this uh, odoo image from your uh, from docker hub using this command when you are running uh, docker compose up the command in your command line it will connect to the internet and uh, pull this image <coughs> from there automatically and uh, this uh, this uh, image is depends on db uh, which is defined here okay this db is mentioned here so whenever it comes here it will just go here and uh, start pulling this image which is postgres sql database uh, as you may know, this is the most powerful open source database out there. So we are uh, just uh, defining some environment variables to uh, provide uh, the necessary launch commands for the PostgreSQL instance. So you can see Postgres is also available here. So instead of configuring everything manually, like uh, as you can see here, there are commands to pull and run this uh, uh, Docker image, but uh, 
just this once you write this docker compose file it is just a single command to start the entire process and uh, your uh, Odoo system will be up and running before you know it so that's how that's how simple it is to uh, get your system up and running with docker so as you can see we are pulling the postgresql image here and we are defining some environment variables for it and we are defining a uh, volume for uh, storing our data so docker volumes are uh, like your uh, attachable storage to your running container i mean running software so whichever software is running inside uh, this image will be using this volume and uh, you can see the files are your uh, db content in the folders that are defined in your uh, volumes so simple stuff most likely you will never uh, go to your uh, uh, go to your volumes and uh, check for the stuff in there but uh, these things are nice to know and then we define the secrets in postgresql password which is reading the password from your uh, odoo pg pass file which i have defined here so this thing can be anything you can randomly type some things and uh, it will be considered it will be taken as a password to your uh, postgresql db so as you can see postgresql password file is mentioned here right this same uh, file the same uh, no password is being used in everywhere and this one this run secrets is uh, set using this uh, odoo pg pass file using this uh, directive from your uh, uh, docker uh, image so you can find all the com commands uh, in docker documentation if you want so i'm just uh, telling you this this is where your uh, database master password is lying all right uh, let's just start our uh, odoo instance using this command docker compose up so if you leave it as docker compose up it will uh, give you these uh, details in your uh, shell okay i have used lots of special characters here that's why it is throwing some error let's, let's see let me quickly stop and restart it so the container is stopping stop and we are going to launch it again if you don't want to see these uh, things in your uh, terminal it is often um, sub the hyphen d is often used as a suffix which is to demonize this process like uh, if you enter hyphen d this process will be started and uh, it will be running in the background so if you want to again see your uh, logs that are printed in the system you need to enter docker compose logs hyphen f to follow the logs right so yeah okay this is the password i have already created and uh, you know actually this password was already used and it is it already created some images docker images that's why when i change the password it is not working but if you are starting from scratch you can define whatever as a password here okay let me let me start odoo again so odoo is started and we are going to see the logs here so the http service is running okay you can see 8069 as the port here but uh, if you go to your docker compose the 8069 is forwarded to 9069 this is just to like uh, if i have some other processes that is using this 8069 in my host operating system i need to define some other port name 
so that it will not conflict with that uh, it will not compete for that same port that's uh, that's a minor detail you you can but you need to mention this uh, ports here so that uh, docker system will know what are the ports need to be exposed from within the container the container may be uh, listening on several other ports like port 80 port 443 but uh, all all we uh, care about is this 8069 and 8072 these two ports uh, are required for uh, creating or communicating with your uh, odoo server okay these two ports are now forwarded to 9069 and 9072 let me go to my browser and i am running it in my local computer so local post port number 9069 9069 you can see this is your uh, when you first install it uh, for the first time you will be seeing this screen so this password uh, is generated by, by odoo for uh, managing your odoo soft odoo database so this this password is a master password for your database itself and this password is for your uh, Odoo related uh, tables and Odoo related users will be created using uh, this uh, password. Uh, make sure to copy this and uh, save it somewhere safe. I am just going to save it in my, in my Odoo folder itself. Okay. Before that, uh, let me show you how we, how you would create a create it from scratch. Let me create a folder named Scratch, and I am going to copy this Docker Compose file, and that's all. I am going to close this Docker Compose. So Docker Compose down is to terminate your uh, server. So this is used to stop your uh, ERP server. This is, uh, you will not often do this, but uh, you can stop the system using this command. So here we, we can see we have Docker Compose file. It will try to read uh, the password from Odoo PG pass fold uh, file, right? So I have created a new uh, folder that is named scratch and i have docker compose file inside that folder that's all i'm going to create a odoo pg pass this is our uh, password file so this password file needs to be inside the scratch folder because from there i will be doing everything so you can better understand how these things are working this is the directory basic folder and inside the folder we place the docker compose file and we will place a random uh, password okay we just save the password and we will move to that folder okay cd into scratch so now we are in the folder scratch we have a couple of files here that is docker compose and odoo pg pass from here you can run docker compose iphone d it will just create several containers with your uh, scratch prefix because we have already created a odoo uh, uh, erp system in inside this odoo folder so this will the most things will be automatically created for you because you will uh, you are writing from from this uh, docker compose.yaml file so now we have this container up and running let me quickly check if there are any others errors using docker compose logs hyphen f okay so the db system is up and yeah our uh, server is already running here okay so let, let us quickly go to our uh, localhost 9069 
so as you can see we have our uh, this is how you will be welcomed into your Odoo system you will be uh, greeted with some password which you may require when you do certain uh, things inside Odoo like uh, cha making changes in any of the module making changes in your uh, DB structure if at all your uh, application demands it you will need this password and let's create a new file and save this password i'm just naming it as pass and uh, saving this file but um, you make sure to write it down in somewhere safe so all of these things are in my local system and i will destroy everything once i complete recording this session so i am just uh, showing you all these passwords uh, without any you know blurring or something so that's all i am going to name this as tutorial db you can name it uh, your company name or db for uh, better uh, creating db so then i am going to rajesh at make it now dot in and i'm going to use a random password securely created random password and uh, phone number so if you have any requirement to install or debug your system feel free to contact me in this number 9698208400 enter is india and i i'd like to populate this uh, db with some demo data so i can better uh, show you how this system works okay i'm just going to click create database so this will take some time uh, for populating the demo data creating the db and uh, all those things it will take some time and you can track the progress or uh, how what is going on in the background using your uh, terminal so as you can see this is doing some work uh, the tutorial odoo db is being populated by odoo erp system uh, one fun fact is basically odoo is a Python large python application it is a um, python and uh, node.js application so yeah we have completed uh, everything i guess now i am going to log in with the username and password i have shared saved earlier and yeah it is showing password Okay. Nine zero six nine. Okay, I've seen the password without any username. yeah as you can see you will be greeted with this uh, page once erp is successful, successfully installed and uh, yeah we have we have sales we have we can most of the things here are free and uh, you can activate these modules and when you, when you click this module it will go go into a blurred state where it will not receive any input and you will see the progress in your uh, command line so even if you close this you can again start and uh, start looking at your uh, logs using this command docker compose logs hyphen f the only catch is you need to be in the same folder as your uh, docker compose file this docker compose command reads your docker compose file docker compose.yaml file and uh, just starts starts doing things 
based on the content of your docker compose file right so docker compose logs so it is doing several things for uh, installing this sales module so it's taking quite a long time let's wait All right, it's installed. Sales module is installed, and we can see some dummy data is already populated over here. And we can see, um, yeah, you can create your company data. You can enter several, uh, you know, information related to your company, and uh, these things will be uh, what do you call reflected in your uh, invoice or something invoice whatever uh, thing you want to do for your business like generating an invoice like creating a sales order like recording your inventory all of these things have its own modules and uh, yeah you can uh, manage your inventory and many things using Odoo uh, without even paying a single uh, rupee or single penny to anyone if you know how to configure your own uh, uh, system erp system like uh, if you know how to run linux and uh, maintain docker images you can uh, just run your business without the help of uh, any third party uh, software like uh, Zoho, Zoho Books or uh, Zoho CRM, Salesforce or uh, QuickBooks. There are literally thousands of uh, paid software that are, uh, so yeah, you get the idea that uh, for, for very little effort, you are getting a lot of return when you install Odoo. So yeah, I think, uh, I'll end this video here and we will support you to install or we will support you to uh, make this uh, into uh, make make a new website or any make a project management system make a uh, manufacturing resource planning MRP system so we can literally do hundreds of things uh, with just a simple single uh, Odoo system so let us know how you how you are business may uh, how your business may benefit from installing Odoo in your premise. So this thing you don't even have to pay for any cloud provider if your uh, workload is low. If you have let's say 100 200 people maximum, you can just run your uh, ERP system on premise. So yeah. I'll finish this video on this note and uh, I'll be happy to read all the comments in case if it is helping. Also, I'll be happy to know if I have made any mistakes and uh, just give me uh, fair criticism. Thank you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another video.